40 communities use one health center in my village, says Olushegun Obasanjo. Hello everyone, welcome to New Sport TV, compliments of the season. I'm wishing you all a prosperous 2023 in advance. Former President Olushegun Obasanjo has said no fewer than 40 communities depend on the only health center in his village, Ibogun Olaogun, in Ifo, local government area of Ogun State. Obasan just stated this during the yearly Ibogun Olaogun Day mm -hmm. ceremony held at the community on Tuesday. According to him, the health center in Ibogun serves 40 communities and needs the attention of the Ogun State government to make good health care available to residents. About 40 communities patronize the existing health center while the facility has been overstretched. The health center needs state government attention, Obasan just said. The Balogunwu, while thanking donors for the projects that have been embarked upon by the community, disclosed that the new town hall and palace project will be pursued vigorously. He promised judicial spending of donated funds to achieve the completion of the said projects. In his words, the coordinator of the Bogon Laogun project coordination, Wale Adebayo, stated that Obasanjo had spent about 15 million on academic and infrastructural needs at a grammar school in the Bogon during the 2021-2022 academic session. Earlier, the president of the Bogon Laogun Community Development Association, Olatunji Okwade, had appealed to Governor Dakwabiodun to upgrade the Bogon Healthcare center to a general hospital so as to effectively serve the healthcare needs of the people in the area so this is what is coming from the former president of nigeria Olushegun Obasanjo. and the question people are asking is that that is his community what has it done to his own community since he became the president Obasanjo has always been domiciled in his own locality you know, and it has business ventures, very huge business investments around there. And well, health would have been one thing it would have tried as much as possible to address. Well, you know, especially when he became a two term president of Nigeria. People always say Baba, as it's fondly called, did not do as much as is expected for his own community likening that to other head of state or presidents who during their tenure make, make sure that their area their community where they are from and where they are retiring to at least has a facelift of healthcare, good roads and the basic amenities just you know to have a few of doing that much for the community but not much has been said and people have been talking about the road of um, Tusong water that has been not in good form all this while and people expected and said a lot when you know he stepped down as the president when he finished his administration to say that didn't feel any federal presence and it's something he would have done you know so now for Baba now who is retired enjoying his old age and you know still doing politics at the at the helm that is you know, deemed to be doing that. Baba is grown old and at this time of his life, I think, you know, more impact will be felt now even than ever before. As somebody who God has given good health, we know that one health center, 740 community is a disaster. Not even in this time where all our doctors and nurses have taken flight and jackpot to Western countries. But the thing is, if one community is serving 40, 40, one, sorry, one health center is serving 40 communities, what is our government doing? What is the plan? And as we know, there's been an explosion of the population, even in rural areas, in the last few decades. We hope that, you know, this will be addressed quickly because we don't seem to take anything seriously in Nigeria, especially when it even comes to health, education, and should I say food? And those are the backbone upon which everything, you know, is built on as an economy 
or the society of Nigeria. So hopefully this will be addressed and more communities will enjoy good, not just health centers, but good hospitals, well-equipped hospitals. We hear a lot of millions, billions flying around and we're thinking that if the government is really committed, every community in Nigeria should have a functional, well-equipped, well-maintained hospitals that we cater for people of a particular community. That is when we can say we are feeling good governance, we are feeling um, the dividends of democracy and we have functional government units. Unlike what we have now that, you know, it's really costly to get good health care in Nigeria. What's your opinion on this? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. I just hope and pray that in 2023, we are going to be able to get a president that will not just talk the talk, but that will walk the walk to take Nigeria from the current situation we found ourselves to our promised land where we'll be able to get good and adequate health care, education for our children, you know, reasonable provision of basic infrastructures that will make life meaningful to be able to be called a bright Nigerian. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Wishing us all, once again, compliments of the season and a prosperous 2023 in advance. See you in the next video. Bye for now.